Hey guys, welcome back to another Tipsy Tuesday. This week we're going to be sharing our bonding story. So there are a few different ways you could bond your buns and of course there are pros and cons to all of these methods. Many bunny owners find stress bonding really helpful because the bunnies do rely on each other and cuddle up next to each other in this unfamiliar and stressful situation. But the downside is that because the bunnies are under so much stress and anxiety, they're not able to communicate effectively. Shorter sessions help the bunnies to get familiar with each other and reduce the chance of fighting, breaking out between the bunnies. But because they are being separated and reintroduced, a lot of the times they have to start over with the communication and that prolongs the bonding process. With one long session, the pro is that at the end of it all, the bunnies are bonded. You don't have to separate them at all or deal with reintroducing them, but because they are together for a long period of time, bunny tornadoes, fighting, frustration can happen, so that can be a little stressful on you and the buns. In our situation, our bunnies had been living side by side for almost two months, separated by a wire pin. So we decided to do a mix of the last two methods that I mentioned. We did two of these shorter sessions and they both went really well. So we decided to do one long session to bond them so we wouldn't have to separate them anymore. And right away when we first introduced them into this small neutral space, Whiskey started mounting Malibu. And this may seem really aggressive, but mounting is a completely normal behavior and it should be expected when bonding bunnies. As you can see, Malibu is completely fine with it. She's not fighting back. She's just letting Whiskey do his thing for now. Remember, bunnies aren't vocal creatures. They communicate through behavior, so this behavior is necessary for them to bond successfully. Even after Whiskey has been mounting Malibu, showing that he wants to be the dominant bunny, Malibu asks to be groomed by Whiskey, showing she wants to be dominant too. So this behavior is all normal and it needs to happen in order for them to figure out their hierarchy. After a little while, Malibu gives in and starts grooming Whiskey. So these are all positive signs showing that the bonding process is working. After all that stressful mounting of the morning, we get a few flops from both of them. And here are some clips of how that went. But of course that bliss did not last forever. They soon started chasing and circling each other, which again is a completely normal behavior that should be expected. But I'll insert some clips here so you can see what that looks like and when to know to intervene and stop that behavior before it becomes fighting or aggressive. Okay, so right here you can see Malibu is getting really irritated with Whiskey's constant mounting. And Whiskey tries to mount again, but Malibu is having none of it. And you can see she kind of nips at him, and that's when I decided to separate them with a dustpan just to help calm things down before a fight broke out. And actually, I should have intervened earlier because Whiskey was mounting Malibu's face, which is really dangerous if they bite their nether regions. Now 
Now this seems really tense to watch, and it is, but as you see here, Malibu flops right after this situation happened. So this just goes to show, this is how they communicate. This behavior is necessary. We have to let it happen as bun parents and only intervene when we think that one of the bunnies could get hurt. Now here's another situation where I intervened a little bit. You could see that a bunny tornado was about to start forming. So I just separated them and it seemed like they were going to calm down, but Whiskey starts up his antics again and Malibu jumps out of the litter box to get away from him. And there again, I should have intervened with the face, but soon they just kind of calm down and Malibu flops. So this communication has to happen in order for the bunnies to bond successfully. So we had quite a bit of time where they were just flopping near each other, getting along really great. So it was time to expand the pin just a little bit more. So here's an instance where chasing isn't a form of dominance, but rather a form of play. So here, Whiskey's chasing Malibu a little bit. You can see she does a couple head binkies and then she flops. So it's really important to look out for these cues and know your bunnies really well during this process. So here I just sat in the pen with them for a little bit and pet them and this can be really helpful if the bunnies are circling or mounting each other excessively. It kind of gives them a little bit of a break without actually having to separate and remove them from each other. And this worked really well. You can see Malibu fell into a very deep, deep sleep. When this girl sleeps, she sleeps hard. So this just meant that she felt really safe and comfortable now around Whiskey. Everything was pretty copacetic until it was about time to go to bed. Whiskey started up his antics again and Malibu thumped to let him know that she was over it. She was not having any of it and she even went close up to him to make sure that he heard her. In here, she's giving him the bunny butt. This is a bunny's version of pouting to let him know that her feelings were really hurt and she did not like what he was doing. She flopped down when she felt her message was received and you can see Whiskey is still in a bit of shock over the whole thing. Malibu groomed him to let him know all was forgiven and that she is sorry and everything was all good throughout the entire night. The next day, I took them outside so that they can get some sun, stretch their legs, and get into a new environment while I completely neutralized and cleaned up their free roaming space. So here they are in their extended pen. This is about 150 square feet of space and they definitely needed it. They were both so happy to have the space to run and zoom me and binky around. Here's a clip from the next morning. So this would be the third day of bonding. You can see Whiskey kind of circles Malibu and is trying to mount her, but she keeps running away from him. Other than this incident in the morning, they were completely fine all day, so I cleaned the entire space with water and vinegar, and we decided to let them free roam.
and they were doing really good in their free roaming space. Surprisingly, in the evening, Malibu was the one who started mounting whiskey, which is kind of funny to see because she was still so tiny. But like I mentioned earlier, this behavior is completely normal, it's to be expected, and there was no fighting or aggression resulting because of it, so we just let them work things out between them. After mounting Malibu requests Whiskey to groom her and he does give in and give her a little kiss so they're working things out between the two of them and this is all completely normal. They've been free roaming together ever since so that is our bonding story. I hope it helps you and your buns. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and consider subscribing for more bunny related tips and advice. Thanks so much. See you guys next time.